Hey, this is Ben, and welcome to Estacada. Uh, we're fishing a smaller creek um, off of uh, Clackamas, and uh, we hiked up a mile or so up this creek, uh, mostly on the paved road, and uh, we dropped down, and uh, there's some deep pockets here, and hopefully we can get some bigger boys. We were here a couple days ago, and um, the biggest one we got was around eight inches, but I'm gonna try doing a little bit more nymphing, try to tap into those deeper pools, and we'll see how it goes, but, um, really beautiful we're all alone here on Saturday I uh, got my waiting pants and boots for the first time out here uh, kind of go hit some more remote spots on the creek and uh, bring you guys along so for our flies we're gonna be doing a pretty simple setup here today we're gonna be going with a, uh, a darker caddis and uh, we're gonna do a drop nymph on as well we're going to be using our top fly kind of as an indicator and then hopefully the bigger fish go after that nymph. What's nice is um, it's a lot cooler today and I'm a lot more comfortable wearing my waders and boots. Um, and because of that, I can actually get deeper uh, into this pool. Um, it drops off a good bit. You guys probably can't see it, but there's a uh, you know, rushing water over there. my light line tight and the reason why is because I want to be able to feel it when it does take got one bite looked at the smaller fish is this gonna be a problem today let's watch behind you be a problem today. I got waiting boots for safety because when you're out here alone and there's like kind of sketchy rocks and stuff like that. You want to be able to have shirt coating so you don't roll your ankle and then you're trapped out here for a while. So I got waiting boots. These are Porker's Dark Horse. I'm running the belt right now. And so far I'm so good. I like them a lot. These are my first waiting boots. They're not spendy. They're not like the cheapest thing, I guess. Maybe they're a little bit gimmicky with the interchangeable sole, but I'm pretty happy so far. Sean. There we go. Man, right before I was about to leave too. Decent sized fish. Pretty hard right size. Relax my dad. Relax. Alright, first fish. Beautiful. That guy was around uh, seven, eight inches. You know, from my experience, you don't need to learn how to cast super far, uh, especially in these creeks in Oregon, uh, because a lot of these creeks are so small. So a lot of times a nine foot pole, you can just overhang and uh, just kind of drop it where you want, or fling a little bit, flick it a little bit. What's more important from my experience, my amateur experience, is that you need to learn how to feed line better. Uh, like me who's struggling right now. All right, so that was pretty successful. Um, we caught one decent sized trout, rainbow trout. It was about seven or eight inches. But we're gonna go continue downstream. We're kind of on a time crunch. We got things to do after this fishing trip. So I can't be out here for too long. But we're going to traverse down the river about a mile or so, then loop back up onto the main road and uh, head home. But so far, so good. It's 
So I'm thinking about crossing over here. Uh, as long as the rapids are not too strong. Uh, it's a small creek so it shouldn't be. I'm thinking the rapids are coming out that way. Shooting to the right. But if I get onto this ledge, I can kind of cast into that little stream on the far side where it's a little bit slower and maybe bait some fish in. But that's the plan. I'm gonna actually kind of wind it up and uh, head a little bit further down. So this is a really deep pool, so I'm hoping uh, we can get some bigger fish out of here. Yeah, for a tiny creek, these uh, there's a lot of fish in here, and they're really aggressive. Um, you know, I feel like almost anything I throw in here, they're they're trying to bite. Uh, it's just with nymphs, there's some shallow rocks, and I'm just having a hard time keeping it off the rocks and out of the trees. But that's a skill skill issue. Okay, push on. Nice. Another rainbow. Hey, it's a uh, yacht, man. Okay, not too deep. There we go, and that's why we don't barber hooks. All right, well, that's gonna be it for today. So time to start heading back.